What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, it's a little bit of a different type of video to what I make. Today I decided to do a picture day with all of my reptiles. Now my goal for this video is to kind of get really nice quality pictures where I could post them on Instagram and kind of boost my Instagram game up because my Instagram game be lacking, okay? I be trying to do some viral things and it not be working. Oh my goodness, like what was that? T-Bone wasn't even like, <laughs> he didn't even get tricked. So I'm gonna be using very basic camera gears. That way some of you guys out there might get inspired and follow um, some of the tricks and tips that I'm gonna give you guys. And you guys at home could also take some really nice pictures as well. Now the camera gear that I'm gonna be using, like I said, it's gonna be very basic. We're gonna start off with a DLSR camera. This right here is my Canon T5i camera. So it's a pretty old model for the Canon T5i Rebel series, but it can still take really nice pictures. And I'm gonna be using this one because as you can see, oh yeah, we could change the lens from you know different ones. That way I could get different types of pictures. Now, of course, the other camera that I'm going to be using because I'm kind of already using it is the Sony A6000 camera that I've been using just for a good while. This one is like my main camera. It's my video camera that I go grab. It's very small. It also has interchangeable lenses um, and it gives you really good quality pictures and video as well. So I'm going to be using this camera as well to take some really nice pictures and videos. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to hit the bike trail. I'm going to take a couple of pictures to kind of get inspired, kind of get warmed up. Then I'll come home, take some pictures of my reptiles, share with you guys, have some fun, eat some linguine because I've been craving some linguine lately. I don't know why that just came into my mind. <laughs> so let's get started with this video. Let's go. If I gotta work for you, know I'm gonna Travel with the diamonds, you a stone cold stunner Bad girl from the islands and you look like summer Smell like summer, got a vibe like summer And you make a real one, stay quiet on the come up Make a real one, stay silent on the come up I don't want your number, I just wanna touch you I don't want your number, I just wanna touch you Hey, hey, but how we gonna get to hold each other? I mean, we barely even know each other I ain't really worried about it Take a couple shots and then I'm bouncing, bouncing Damn, girl, move that thing Everybody shaking with they move like rain rings You do the same things, you do the okay, shit Okay, cut, cut, cut Alright, so you're probably thinking right now Lord and Lion, weren't you gonna take pictures outdoors of the wilderness Of the wild animals that were out there? Well, yes, I was <laughs> you see, big rookie me over here, rookie of the year, I left the very important things at home. I left the SD cards for my cameras at home. I only took one SD card, which was this one. So what was I going to do? S keep switching SD cards. It was a very weird situation. And the one that I did take was basically already almost full. And the batteries that I took were all drained. And on top of that, I left the camera straps at home. So I was basically juggling two cameras on a bike. I looked like I was a circus act or something. Oh my goodness. I even bought myself some granola bars. I was prepared and everything. But as you can see, out there it is really, really beautiful. There's really tall trees. There's art underneath bridges. And there's even nice little tiny creeks that have a ton of little critters. So if you guys want me to go back out there to either take pictures or even do a video on maybe looking for some interesting critters that Canada has, I'll be sure to post a video similar to that in a future video. Now, since I'm already home and I had a really nice cardio workout on my bike, I decided to stay here and take pictures of some of my reptiles like how I initially was going to do. So, let's get started with that. Let's go. Okay, so who am I gonna take a picture of first? Look at her, she's like all picture ready. She's like, oh yeah, take a picture of me. <laughs> now, believe it or not, most of my bearded dragons are basically going through shed. As you can see, BB kind of has that little tiny bit of shed on her chin right there. It's kind of going a different type of color. So I won't be taking pictures of all of my bearded dragons. 
I might be taking pictures of BB because you know she she's carrying those eggs and wouldn't it be kind of cool if I took some pregnancy pictures for her so that way she could look back and be like damn I was really carrying those eggs. <laughs> but the first reptile that I kind of want to take pictures of are my Amazon tree boas because I really, really like this setup right here. The lighting is really nice and it kind of looks like that forest that I was going to go take pictures of in the morning. So I'm going to set up the camera and basically try to get a couple of pictures of my Amazon tree boas. Okay, so as you can see, I have my camera set up on my tripod, basically pointing towards my Amazon tree boa enclosure. Now, the setup that I have for my camera is pretty straightforward. I have it shooting on basically manual. I have the iOS um, at 3200. I have the shutter speed at 60 and I have the f-stop at 7.1. I'm probably gonna be putting it a little bit lower just to get a better aperture um, and you know that blurriness that everyone kind of goes for when you're shooting on a DLSR camera. But I'm probably gonna be taking it off the tripod to kind of get and find my Amazon tree boa's head. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for my Amazon tree boa. Hopefully I don't get bit. Uh, so I could capture some really nice pictures. Okay, so I don't know if you guys could see, but my Amazon tree boa is like right there. He kind of is already in that striking position. <laughs> so as you can see, he is like right there. That That's like the, the money shot. That is the picture money shot right there. I don't know if you, oh yeah. That right there is already alone a picture. Oh yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, this video camera already captures really good um, video of my green tree python. Hey, chill. He's probably gonna try to strike at me if I get too close to him. But I kind of want his face to kind of shift that way so I could take a picture of the side of his face. And as you can see, he's just standing still. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this guy is honestly just gorgeous. And look at those eyes. Oh my goodness. Those cat eyes are freaky. Now, the other little guy right here, which is trying to bite you guys and also trying to bite me, um, I'm gonna basically try to take a picture of him outside of his enclosure to kind of get a different type of feel, a different type of lighting to the other ones that I was taking. And look at him, he's like trying to bite you and everything. Calm down, little guy, it's just, look. Those are just the lord, lords and ladies right there. Calm down. <laughs> okay, he, he tried to butt my face there. But I want to try to put him on this window um, that's right here. He's still going. He doesn't like you guys. He really doesn't like any of you guys. He's like, get wrecked. Okay, so I had this idea to kind of take a more sort of um, realistic type of picture with him right by the window right here. If I could settle him down, that would be great. Hello. <laughs> okay, just like that. Stay like that. Stay like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but look at the pattern on his head holy snap he has some crazy pattern so as you can see he is just behaving like how I want him to behave just very calm and collective you know he's not biting anyone and I'm able to take some pictures of him I really want to get those eyes as close as I can and you know of course not get bit oh yeah you see you see those eyes those are some really nice eyes and the camera's really picking up some really nice pictures. Oh my goodness, he's trying to bite me. He's trying to bite me. So as you can see, I put him back inside of his enclosure. Um, he's just gonna now keep nice and warm. Oh, you're gonna say hi to the camera again? Oh my goodness. <laughs> calm down, oh my, <laughs> calm down little guy. So I still have the other one up here. So with these guys, Taking pictures of them was still kind of fun. Um, of course, they always keep you on edge because they're always trying to bite you. Oh my goodness, stop it. So I'm gonna leave him alone, let him just rest up, because, you know, you, you did a good job. You were a good model. You were, you were good. Okay, so for the next picture, um, this one can be a little bit more tricky, but once you got the technique down, it can be a really, really easy method to take pictures and you could get really creative with it and do some really really cool stuff now lately I've been kind of getting into this whole entire lighting and photography it's a really old type of method but like I said you could get really creative with it and I want to be doing it with some of my reptiles as you could see I got BB here I got a couple of lights 
Now I've already taken some really nice pictures with this whole entire lighting photography. You basically use some really nice lighting, you, you use some lights, you draw, you could do a whole bunch of different stuff and it's really, really easy to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right now I have my camera set up on a tripod and I basically have this camera set up so that way the shutter speed is a lot less and it basically delays the picture. So as you can see, my arm completely looks like it is delaying. It looks like it's like PlayStation 1 graphics right there. I probably look like an, uh, an alien. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. This, this looks like some, some um, ghost movies right here. <laughs> but what this basically allows you to do is to take really, really interesting pictures. Because once you turn off the lights, oh yeah. Once you basically turn off the lights, you could get a little tiny light like this one and you can make a circle. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And it basically delays any type of way that you want it so if you really think of it I could do like any type of shape and once it starts to capture it's gonna capture basically this light oh yeah <laughs> so what I'm gonna try to do is take pictures of my reptiles using that method and hopefully BB doesn't move because like how you saw my arm it was basically the lane and it did not look good and if she moves it's gonna ruin the picture and it's gonna look all shaky. So I'm gonna try my best to keep her calm, to take pictures using basically this lighting method. Okay, so as you can see, BB is actually behaving pretty, pretty good. She is standing still. She looks like a model. <laughs> I got her a nice little tiny rock. So I'm gonna try to take a picture of the very first one. Get a nice light in there. Oh yeah, just a little tiny scribble. Okay, not bad. So as you can see the very first picture, she did move a little bit, so her face is a little bit shaky, but you can see the light that I'm trying to go for. I'm gonna try to add a different type of light to her face and maybe get a smaller light in the background and just add a lot more scribbles. Okay, BB, do not move, do not move. This is not gonna hurt. Do not move. All right, let's see this one. All right, so you can see there is a lot more scribbles in this one. She's doing a really, really good job of not moving. And taking this type of picture is a little bit of a challenge because I basically have to get her to not to move. But because it is dark inside of this room, she does not want to move because she might think there is something going on. Oh yeah, this is the picture. Oh yeah, so as you can see, this picture is coming out a lot more better. You can see her face right there. I'm gonna try to brighten it up so I could get a better, better, look and feel on this picture. Okay, as you can see, BB is right there. I'm gonna try to add just random lighting to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one turned out to be pretty cool. It is a lot brighter. She's just looking, just chilling, and there's just a whole bunch of different types of scribbles. Oh yeah, you see that? I try to make little tiny spikes on her back right there. <laughs> and she's just really, really gorgeous. So I'm kind of happy with some of the pictures that I took of BB. I really, really like this one right here where she's just um, sitting there with a whole bunch of light and it just looks very, very bright. And the lighting just, you know, it looks like lightning as well. I also really like this one too. It, it just kind of, um, has like little tiny spikes at the back, but you could do just about anything I'm gonna try to go get a different reptile to kind of do a similar thing with Hopefully this reptile stands still like BB was but you were a good model BB. You did good. You did really good Yeah, I'm proud of you the next reptile that I want to take a picture using this method are my crocodile skinks now as you can see these guys are you know very calm right now but they can be very very skittish but these guys are honestly just gorgeous so if i could manage to take a picture of them using this method it would be pretty pretty cool so i want to try to give it a go and hopefully these guys stay calm and do not move or blink hey don't blink 
<laughs> so let's give this a shot. Okay, so I can already see that this guy is going to be a challenge. As you can see right now, he is calm, but he already tried to run away like 20 times. So I'm going to do it quickly to kind of take a picture and hopefully he doesn't stress out. So look, he already moved, but hopefully he captured something. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I still have to move the lighting a little bit more. Hopefully we could get a decent picture of him. Oh yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Look at him. He is like that. Oh my goodness. Really? Is it really picture day? Uh, <laughs> this guy is honestly cute. Okay, so I added his little girlfriend right there. As you can see, that is middle, Little Miss Autumn. And that is him right there. He's still acting a little bit awkward. Uh, I believe it's just a rock. As you can see, she's just like kind of posing. And we got some really nice pictures that are coming your way. So... Let me try to see what I could do with these guys right here if they just allow me and do not move. All right. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Try to do different types of lights. Okay, not bad, not bad. These guys did not move, did not flinch. The picture came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I do wanna add different things in the background. Maybe I put them on a stick where they feel a little bit more comfortable, but so far, not so bad. Right now I have them right here. They were doing pretty good. Um, right now you see the male, he's acting a little bit skittish. So I'm gonna try to take a picture of them all together with his little tiny girlfriend on top of this little tiny branch right here. So I'm gonna set the camera down. Hey, stop moving. <laughs> stop, he's trying to make a break for it. Oh my goodness. Oh, stay right there, stay right there, no, no. Oh my goodness, stop making these crocodile noises. You're gonna call your big brother. Come here. Okay, it's just gonna be really quick. Do not move, do not move. This is a good picture, this is a good one. Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> it turned out to be pretty, pretty cool. So I wanna try to take another one. Do not move, please do not move. Do not move, little guy. Oh yeah, that's the one. <laughs> they're kind of just like looking, they're being all cute. Oh yeah, pretty cute. Now I try to make a heart, <laughs> but I end up looking like the people on the Disney Channel when they're trying to make Mickey Mouse's uh, head. <laughs> so these little guys are honestly cute. I managed to take a couple pictures of them and it turned out to be pretty, pretty cool. So I'm gonna put them back inside of their enclosure. They behaved pretty well. And as you can see, little Miss Autumn is just on top. She's just like, okay, are we done? Are we done? Can we go home now? <laughs> so I'm gonna place them back inside of their enclosure and I'm gonna go try to take a picture of another reptile of mine. Okay, so for this last picture, I waited until it was a lot darker inside of my reptile room because the next reptile I want to take a picture of is my green tree python over here. As you can see, she's all coiled up, so I thought it would make a really cool, interesting picture if I do one of those lighting pictures that I did earlier for my other reptiles. So I have the camera all set up right here, ready to go, so let's get it. on top of my camera the other camera is actually right underneath this camera so I'm gonna be taking a picture of my green tree Python hopefully she doesn't move much so here we go I'll do little tiny circles I'll do this across I'll do this and then I'm just gonna do little tiny circles without touching her so she doesn't move little tiny circles underneath her and then I need some light on her, so it showcases her. And yeah, this is basically how I'm gonna do this. Okay, this one turned out to be even more cool. Look at that. Oh uh, yeah. Do one of these, do one of those. See, it's lights all over the place and we're just gonna see whenever my camera captures it, what I get. Okay, not not too bad actually. 
This one actually turned out to be pretty cool. Okay, so I managed to take a couple pictures of my green tree python. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this one, how it turned out, the lighting and everything. These ones are honestly worth putting like on my phone and you know, as the background, even on my laptop, because I really enjoy these lighting pictures. So I'm gonna continue experimenting with this and eventually get better and better. And there's so many other ways that you could take pictures of your reptiles, especially the green tree python. You could just take a picture with a regular iPhone or Android and it's just picture ready. Cause look at that. that, that right there looks like it belongs on a calendar or something. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, spending time with me, taking pictures of my reptiles. I'll be sure to do a part two on this because I have so many other reptiles. I have my tarantula, I have so many other bearded dragons. I also have my ball pythons that I could take outside and take pictures of. So let me know if you guys would like to see a video like that in the comments down below. But as to right now, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button. I'm Lorded Lion. Keep the blood pumping and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Ha! <laughs>